Hi everyone, uh, this is Pedro again from Pytalista and today um, I'm going to give a um, demo on how to transfer data from a SQL database to a data lake. Uh, I see lots of examples on the internet and even on documentation of, of Azure of doing SQL to SQL or Parquet or CSV into a SQL database or Synapse. But I've never seen an example uh, where uh, I'm transferring data from a SQL database into a data lake. And I'm just going to demonstrate to you how it is easy uh, in Data Factory. And I'll create like a template data set where in a loop, like a for each loop, we'll iterate uh, for all the tables of a schema. And that's going to save parquet files for each table on the database. So let's get started. Uh, before that, uh, let me show you. So here's the example of the pipeline that I'm going to run. So I will have the source that's going to be a SQL data set or actually lots of tables. And I'm going to use that uh, activity called lookup where it's going to query the database schema bring all the tables for that schema and then create like a collection which is gonna uh, be sent to these for each activity and then it's gonna iterate and loop and for every table that's gonna be copied into a azure blob storage link services and then that's gonna sync uh, in a folder structure so let's go to the demo uh, our further ado so I'm just gonna close this presentation now so data factory launch studio so uh, the final product is gonna be something like that so that's gonna create like a from the root uh, container called uh, bronze it's gonna create like a folder for the database and then um, the sales LT for the um, every single folder will be a parquet file here for each table. So let me log into my SQL database. Uh, I'm using a Mac here. Let's see if I can log in using my um, Azure Studio. Yeah, I think that's gonna be good. So I'm having problems with my PC and I'm using my Mac. So I'm just gonna... Okay, I'm here on my database. Um, what I'm gonna do is I have those tables here and I'm gonna to all these schema sales LT will be transferred from the SQL database to the data lake as I showed um, here. So that's gonna be each this database, the top folder, and then that's gonna be a folder for the schema, and every table is gonna be in a different folder like that. So that's the final uh, state. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go to the root container, bronze, and then just gonna delete that because I'm gonna build um, from scratch. So the pipeline in Azure is going to be something like that. So the pipeline is going to be, as I showed on the slides, it's going to be like a filter schema lookup activity. And then it's going to be a for each loop that's going to launch that copy activity. Uh, and then I have three data sets. I have one data set for the schema to get the table and schema name. I have uh, just uh, to query the database to get the um, the table names in the schema. Uh, that's the first activity for the lookup. And then I have a parquet data set to sync the file that's going to say the container name in the path. So let's, uh, I'm going to delete everything and do from scratch. And then we're going to do it together. And so I have a clean slate now. Uh, and then I'm just going to publish all and delete. So we have like, uh, also I'm going to delete the link services. 
uh, and then I do with you together. So let's get my cheat sheet here. So first thing, I'm gonna create the um, linked services. So it's gonna be one. That's gonna be a SQL Server, Azure SQL Server. And then I'm just gonna call it, um, I usually call it LS, like link service SQL um, DB. And that's gonna be from my subscription. That's the server name. Uh, that's the beauty of working in Azure. So everything is kind of integrated. I'm just gonna probably hide this part because I'm gonna get the username and password, but um, then it, you don't need to wait. So that's the username, password, and then I'm just gonna uh, test connections should be green and create. So that was easy. And then I'm just gonna do for data lake. Uh, I have like a blob storage um, link services, and then I'm just gonna call again a link services. I'll call it uh, Azure data lake storage. Um, that's from my subscription. That's gonna be the account. I'm just gonna test connection. There we go. So that was the easy part. So let's go back to author and create a pipeline. So I think the first part is the easy one. I'm gonna do um, lookup activity and then I'll call this lookup activity, let's call it, um, let's say query schema, which is gonna be a query scheme of the database. Uh, the settings is gonna be the data set. Uh, I'm gonna create a new one, uh, which is gonna be, I think I call it new. And then I'll put SQL DB, oops, SQL DB, that one. And then I'm just gonna use the link search that I've just created. Uh, I'm not going to specify any table because I'm going to do a query. Uh, and then that's it. So the only difference that I'm going to do here, I'm going to do a query, but I would like to pass a parameter from my pipeline. I'm going to set a new parameter for this pipeline. That's going to be the only parameter that I'm going to pass, pass in this pipeline to this pipeline, I'm gonna call schema name and then that's a string type and there is no default value. I'm also gonna just call it this pipeline something meaningful. I'll call it SQL, what's going on? I'll call it SQL to parquet. Okay, um, and then if I go back uh, the query I already have here written. So that's gonna be pretty much uh, the one that I have in the database. So let me just show you here. So that's the query. So if I run the query, so I've got, I'm just querying my schema and saying that I have, uh, these are all the tables in that schema. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna um, get that query in a way that um, I can pass the parameters uh, in the in the data factory. So let's go back to my data factory. So on the query, I can uh, click here, add dynamic content. And then I'm just gonna paste that, which pretty much I'm concatenating a string, but I'm just passing this parameter that I just created called uh, schema name. So, oops, and I'm just gonna press okay. With that, I can test that activity. I just, just opened my Slack by mistake. 
Um, and then I'm just gonna debug. I'm just gonna validate. Yeah, it's all good. I'm just gonna now debug this pipeline. And then the sales LT is the schema. And then I'll show you uh, how the uh, next activity are going to get that output. Is it running? It's looking up. Yeah, it runs successful. If I see the output, so I made a mistake. Now I put the first row. Uh, what you have to do is to untick this first row only and let's run again. So sales LT. Let's wait. It's running. Yeah, it's run successfully. So can you see that it produced an array with key value pairs? So every, the 10 tables. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add now a um, iteration conditional of for each. Uh, and then we can call it uh, for each uh, collect table to be a meaningful name. And just for now, uh, successful. Um, sorry, this is a failure. Link. I'm just gonna delete that one. Um, it should be a success. If it's successful, and then run that one. So just as a placeholder, I'm just gonna put a general uh, weight activity just to check if that one is working and also on the query because it's gonna be too much 10 I'm just gonna put the um, top two tables so that's gonna be just enough for testing and then on the for each uh, settings I'm going to put the item coming from the pipeline and then I just go click here um, and then uh, it's the from the activity uh, which is uh, at I'm just trying to find um, activity query schema and then from the activity if you remember uh, I have the output and then the value so I'm just gonna show you again uh, can you see that I have this is the output and the key is the value so that's an array okay can you see the bracket so uh, an array with a first item second item and so forth so what it's um, the for each is doing here so that's gonna iterate that and those values will be available uh, for this um, wait and then it's gonna wait twice because it's gonna be two activity so let's uh, validate yeah it's all good nothing missing and then debug just gonna pass save lt and okay and it should be all green just wait Uh, and just I think it finished yeah it finished okay if you see the for each it passed two values so let's now do for the whole thing which is gonna be a little bit more complicated so I'm just gonna delete that one and then uh, put a copy activity okay so let's call it copy uh, simple to I'll put a DSL so that's the sensible name uh, the source are going to be not this one I'll create a new one and I'll explain you shortly why so if I put SQL DB and then the linked services is the same source 
uh, the table name I'm just gonna click OK now but if I go um, um, this one let's call I'll give like a sensible name for this one I usually call it uh, DS SQL I'll call it table but this one I'll call it um, data set SQL schema and then table okay I'm just gonna create two parameters that I'm gonna pass one is gonna be the schema name and the other one it's gonna be the table name uh, and then if I go back to this the connection I'm gonna click this edit here and then that's gonna be the schema name that I'm gonna pass in the pipeline and then that one is gonna be the table name cool I uh, think connection uh, is working yeah so and then I go back to my pipeline um, and then the values here I'm just gonna uh, maximize this real estate here uh, I'm just I think I need I need to refresh that to the thing to appear yeah and then um, that thing will come from the loop the for each loop table so this is gonna be a night and uh, schema schema name and table also coming from the for each loop and the item is gonna be table name okay it's already here uh, I think the source is okay now we need to sync that <clears throat> to another data set in the data lake I'm just gonna do Azure Blob Storage and it's gonna be a parquet file format I'll call it DS parquet uh, but I'm gonna call it um, container path because I'm gonna use those parameters and then I'm gonna get the link services um and then i'm just gonna click ok for now but i'm gonna go here in the parquet container file and then here uh, on the container i'm just gonna for now um, hard code that one to bronze uh, but the directory or the path is gonna be um, uh this one is going to be i'm just a parameter and then i'll call it uh, is it going to be a parameter or not just give me a second yeah it's going to be from the yeah it's going to be a parameter um i'm gonna call it uh not name it's gonna call path uh, and then I'll also put one called container name okay okay I think that's okay and then the this one is gonna be the container name and that one is gonna be the path and then I'll take care of it in the pipeline okay uh, go back to the pipeline so the path uh, the container name I'm gonna hard code it as I said it's gonna be bronze uh, and the path is gonna come from the for each but I'm just gonna um, construct that in a concatenation just to save us time I'm already uh, created that so just hang on from my cheat sheet so that's gonna be called the database name slash the item schema name slash the table name okay so that's 
okay and then let's see if everything is okay i click validate and it's all good now it's ready for test um we press the debug and then i'm gonna put sales lt and then hope for the best i think i didn't forget anything so that's uh running now it's failing Yeah, I think I misspelled the container name. So if I go to my, um, yeah, so it's all here. Park it. Yeah. So it's nicely called uh, schema dot name dot parquet. Uh, let's finish now with the full table. I'm going to go back to here. And now it's all working. I'm just going to put everything. So um, let's run the pipeline. Sales LT and OK. And then we can watch uh, from here. Um, sales LT and as the uh, pipeline happens, it's a bit slow. Maybe there is a lot of uh, load today. Let's see when it starts. Yeah, it looks like it started now. Let's see. Yeah, it's finished. Gee, that was quick. Yeah, copy everything. Okay, guys, thank you very much. I'm going to edit the video, make it shorter. You don't need to watch the weights and me debugging. So, but uh, this, this was an example where in a single pipeline, I create a loop and then I load all the tables in the database in the data lake as parquet files. I hope you, I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, you just um, put in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching and don't, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video and click the bell. Thank you very much.